What's up guys, this is iTweets here, and today I'm going to be showing you a new tweet called Swipe Selection Pro. Now this is the paid version of Swipe Selection, and if you haven't used Swipe Selection or you haven't heard of it, then I'm going to show you exactly what it does and what Swipe Selection Pro has to offer that Swipe Selection doesn't. So first of all, if we jump into the notes right here, now this is going to work anywhere that you type text, so I mean in text messages, everywhere. And you can see that my cursor is right there at the end of the uh, text right there but if I swipe across my keyboard it actually moves across and that's what swipe selection pro does it also has a few other features where you can hold the shift button down and then swipe across and it's going to highlight that text right there you can also do it from the delete button but it is a little trickier with the delete button first of all because you could accidentally uh, delete some of your your text but if you hold the delete button and swipe across and then let go of your delete button before you let go of the swipe then it's going to jump across and highlight much more than uh, what you usually would if we do it the regular way by holding down the delete button and then swipe across first of all it didn't highlight all the way and it deleted some of our text so keep that in mind when you're trying to highlight stuff with the delete key now that's basically the extent of swipe selection but swipe selection pro actually gives you some settings that you can mess with right in the settings so you can see here that we have a kill switch so you can enable or disable it right there you also have a triple tap on the shift key to either enable or disable swipe selection so we'll toggle that on and give that a shot also you have a swipe area so by default it's set to the entire keyboard you can change this to everything but the space bar or just the space bar and I'll show you how effective this is on the iPhone as well as the iPad so let's jump back here and down here you have the sensitivity so you can change the sensitivity from either normal or reduced so this basically means if it's on normal then you're gonna have to swipe more across to cover more ground if you have it set to reduced then you're gonna have to cover less ground to move the cursor more and so let's go ahead and put that on reduced and go down here to swipe speed and swipe speed is going to change how fast the cursor moves as you swipe so there's actually a few options here you have slowest slower normal faster and fastest I'm actually a fan of faster so we're gonna try that and down here we have three finger swipe so what this allows you to do is actually swipe with three fingers to move to the beginning or the end of a document now it doesn't really translate well on the iPhone but you can do this really well on the iPad and I'm gonna show you all this stuff on the iPad as well so let's jump back here and now we're going to check out what we've changed here so first off we changed it to where we can only swipe across the space bar so you can see it works on the space bar but if we do it up here absolutely nothing's working now let's delete that and now let's say we wanted to use the three finger swipe in order to uh, go to the beginning of the document so let's try that and as you can see doesn't work that well on the iPhone basically just hitting a bunch of keys and not working really well uh, for this so let's go ahead and delete that and also if I swipe across you can see that we have quite a bit of coverage there with just a little amount of swipe just because I have reduced on as well as faster scrolling so it's gonna cover more ground as I scroll across the keyboard now if I triple tap on the shift key you can see that it's not going to work right here one two three and then swipe it's not going to work so let's do it again one two three and it's working so now let's jump over to the iPad and I'll show you exactly what it can do on that alright so here is swipe selection pro on the iPad now like I was saying the three finger swipe from the end of the document to the beginning of the document works really well on the iPad so you can see if I swipe you can see that it goes to the beginning of the document if I swipe down or swipe to the right then it's going to go to the end and it works really well on the iPad you see that it's not picking up any of the keystrokes also if we swipe across the keyboard right here you can see that you can get a whole lot more coverage on the iPad rather than on the iPhone so it actually works really well for these two features and obviously you have a bigger keyboard on the iPad so it's gonna work really well when swiping across and it's going to allow you to cover a whole lot more ground uh, just by having an iPad of course we can do this now if you want to select more as you can see it doesn't work if you continue holding the shift button but if you let go of the shift button and then press it again then you're going to be able to select more and continue to add on to that highlighted area so to show you that again you can see that it's starting over every time if I continue to hold the shift button but if we let go press it down again and you continue uh, highlighting more of the text 
So I'm always a big fan of swipe selection. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. Also, don't forget to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter for updates. And if you haven't checked out my gaming channel, go over there and stop by and say hey. Alright guys, until next time. Peace.